Well, we're not investing into experiments. We're investing into great teams, into great projects, into great visions. And we're investing in people who have the ability to execute that. On the way to the London Blockchain Week. This is the second day it's been up and running. From what I hear, yesterday was a great success, a really good turnout. So, really looking forward to today. I'm going to be speaking on a panel there around midday um, about investing. And what I really want to kind of get out of the panel is talking to the other panelists and the guests who are going to be listening about an edge, the edge that we have here at SVK Crypto, our edge, our approach, and you know how we're trying to really define value add to different projects in our own way with a community driven model. I think it's really important that you talk to, if you have a network, you've got to talk to them on a daily basis, like you just do. And it's something that people don't, they meet people, right? Like we meet, I get your details, I email you, and then that's it, they don't follow up. Like mm -hmm. the follow up is key, dude. Like if you're gonna keep a relationship with someone, you've got to follow up. I follow up on a daily basis. I think this morning I've done 20, 20 reach outs in the last, what, six minutes? Like you got to do that. And it doesn't take a lot of time, but it lets them know you're thinking about them. And when it comes to later on, um, in the next five years, when this space really develops and matures, you know, the next Steve Jobs, the next Bill Gates, the next big tech entrepreneur, you're going to have a relationship with them because you kept going, right? And it's, it's all about relationships. It's all about community. And I think that people overlook that massively. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I know myself and the rest of the team here at SVK really, really value. I spend a lot of our time building, nurturing and growing because it's so critical, it's so important. Yeah, everyone benefits from, from relationships. The thing, business, what is business? Business is relationships. Like, that's what it is. It always has been about that. Now, if you take that away, like, as, as a VC fund looking to deploy capital into early stage projects and connect to a network of entrepreneurs, if you don't have that, then what do you have? Like, nothing. That's why we do these speaking gigs. Like, you know, from a time allocation, it's so ROI positive going to all these different speaking gigs around London. I mean, myself and Shane and you are jumping on a train to Manchester this evening. Like, we could do much better things our evening, but we understand the ROI. We understand why it's so important and vital to go to all the different education hubs in the UK and speak there to get our flag there, to get our brand there, and anything we can do to help them, we will do, right? Because we understand the importance of that. And that's something that drives us as well, motivates us. And that's how the space is gonna mature and develop. And we're seeing more and more people do this and what's what more and more people need to do as well. Get out that cave, get out there and go and meet some people, man. Go and shake some hands, go and see what you can do to help others. Because that's how your brand, your personal brand and your company brands are gonna grow. Like, plural. It just is. There's no other way around it. Awesome, my name is Charles Story. I'm Head of Strategic Partnerships at SVK Crypto, which is a venture capital fund based here in London. Um, we've implemented a community-driven approach. We're backed by the guys at Block One, and our mandate with that fund is to deploy our capital into the EOS IO ecosystem. Blockchain ha is a rare technology that has the ability to disrupt multiple different industries. So as an investor looking into blockchain technology, you're looking into an array of different industries out there. And within that, you're looking at different companies at different growth stages. You're looking at very early stage companies, which are arguably experiments. And you're looking at more developed companies with a great team who have the ability to execute as well. Experiment, you mean? Experiment. Crazy ideas that are not backed up. Like. I'm not going to mention any names, but there's, there's definitely a few of them out there. Yeah, sure. I mean, like, there's many different examples of that, right? But the main example is two guys having a crazy idea to do something that haven't got the ability to execute it, that are looking for half a billion dollars, that have no structure in place, that have no idea actually how to run a business and to make it happen. They're experiments. Can you ask, as an investor, it's kind of risky to invest in that kind of stuff. Why would you do that? Well, I think that if you're spending your time trying to sell people on something that they're not interested in, you're wasting your time. My time is spent on the development of this space, building the community, building out the, the network, building out the tech development, building out and talking to family offices who have an understanding on blockchain that want to see the opportunity that this is. And that's very clear if you look at any of the big family offices in the world. The conversation that's happening behind closed doors is what is blockchain? How can we get in? Is this the right time to enter into the market? And that's my viewpoint. 
Yeah, sure. So listen, it's all about teams. A great team who has the ability to execute also has the ability to pivot. And with an early stage company, there's going to be a lot of pivoting going on. There's going to be a lot of mistakes that are going to be made. And a team that works together well has the ability to change direction and course. Now, I see a lot of people who are looking for problems to solve. And I see a lot of people who aren't really looking for problems that necessarily need a solution to them. If there's a famous saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So what we're looking at is a lot of businesses looking to utilize blockchain in an element of their day-to-day -day operations, whether that's supply chain or whatever other variant blockchain fits in. So for us, it's really key. How are you going to make money? What are your revenue projections? And when are you going to make money as well? Because at the end of the day, we're looking to return capital back to our investors. I think you definitely have to picture that in mind. This doesn't change because it's blockchain. Like, take that away. There's, there's no point doing that. It's not magic fairy dust that's going to magically make money one day. It has the same metrics as before. But there's no, no difference in looking at the project. Well, we have to understand what the technology is and the power of the technology and if they can execute upon that. But the metrics still stay the same, unless you're not looking to make returns. Possible pitch ever. What is the worst possible idea to pitch? Guaranteed returns. But like, what I'm interested in is your vision. But most importantly, how are you going to execute that vision? Because that's what counts. So you need people to be sure about what they're saying about the problem. I hope they're sure. <laughs> if they're not, they shouldn't be talking to someone who wants to deploy capital into them. They should be sure on what they do. Um, there's a lot of people who are looking for shortcuts. I think that's a complete mistake. As um, the guys here said earlier, it's about structuring correctly. And we're seeing more and more companies doing that at the minute because they're looking to attract longer term capital. So it's a really interesting time in the minute because we've seen a lot of spivvy projects get funded, and that's no longer the case. I, I agree with what he's saying, by the way, and it's a really valid point. And I think uh, with the flip side of what you were saying, the counter argument is that you can't fall in love with the companies that you're working with. Like, don't get romantic about your investments because you can get too romantic, too involved emotionally as well, and it can be a complete disaster because you're not thinking clear when it comes to the end. Now, time allocation is something that you have to really manage. And we, we get approached by hundreds of different deals on a daily basis, and most of them, you're right, we probably are going to miss opportunities, but that's okay because we're in it for the long term and we're here to build relationships, and maybe we'll miss the opportunity at the seed round, maybe we'll catch it on Series A. So being aware of what's coming through being able to list that, being able to understand that as well. Well, it depends on what the entrepreneur is, right? So if he's starting out, maybe you have a small ticket size, call a million dollars, and you can go upwards depending on the round and the series and the amount of risk you're taking as well. Thanks. Thanks.